Here we are back at the Cambridge Military Hospital. This has been under development for many years, over 10 years, and progress is just painfully slow. So you can imagine plenty of people have been exploring this place, but that clock tower is the unobtainable, or it was until recently. Um, we got into the place before and we were heading for the clock tower, but unfortunately the place is quite well secured. And as you can see here, they've got motion sensors on trees and they've got motion sensors inside. So you've got to be very careful when you're trying to get into this place. But luckily, some people have been uh, letting themselves in. We've managed to find a few ways in. But uh, on this particular occasion, we weren't in there for very long. And we were just walking along a corridor on the first floor and then suddenly this happened yeah oh dear that didn't stop us we stayed in for another hour and a half had a good look around but then in the end we did hear keys jangling in the door and the security guards were on their way in now it's become even harder because they've actually partitioned off parts of the inside with walls so that you can't get from the corridors to the clock tower anymore but we found a way oh yes visiting the clock tower is the prize and i don't think there's anyone out there who's actually filmed it on video before so watch as we defeat these guys and the clock tower becomes ours so keep on watching as we revisit the Cambridge Military Hospital. And it's gonna be one of the last times you get to see it before it's developed into flats. Right, it's Secret Vault with Sam and Jess and uh, Carl from Dark Art Paranormal. We're in older shot. And we're just trying to get into the. Uh, we're trying to get into the Cambridge Military Hospital we came to in the past, and the only trouble is that um, we don't know how to get in at night. So we're going to chance our hand on, on some fences and see how we get on. But they have got a lot of uh, electronic cameras and shit here, yeah, so really don't know how this is going to go. And we already uh, we already got eyed by a police car a minute ago, so. Hmm, yeah. So I uh, wish us luck and we'll see you in a minute. I'm filming with this because I, I need my hands to climb and do some crap because this gets a bit, it's a bit hard work this. It's not easy. So wish us luck. So we found a way in. There's uh, all this wood's been pulled off. Looks like it's been here for a while. Carl's having a go. We're halfway down the distance of the hospital from that end to here now. So, yeah, let's give it a go. What's that noise? It was you? Yeah. Okay. Ah, does this drop down into a lower floor? No, it's just it's just down to the earth level. It's tall though, isn't it? It's tall, yeah. So be prepared for a shock down here because it'll fucking it just wow wow wow. But I got a feeling they'll be mostly down that way. Oops, am I not my gimbal's gone off. Right, so prepare yourselves for an alarm. Come on, my gimbal won't work now. Go on, good gimbal. Keep going. So, so if the alarm goes off, do we keep going? Yeah. Just keep going, is it? Okay. Do you mind if they come in and get us out? Or? Well, I feel someone's blocking up, please, huh? Yeah.
Ah, they've actually put, built a door there, look. Doubt it. I think that's just to stop people going in there, because that's the way to the clock tower. Excuse my language, I'll have to stop swearing now. All right, do you want to try and get up the stairs? Because that keeps us out of the risk of setting off the alarms then. Spooky here at night. Yeah, this is proper old Victorian. Yeah. God, they are not making much progress with this. I mean, we came here like a year ago. I mean, like, what the hell are they doing? They're not doing anything. Look at the size of these halls. DSS block 12. Hmm. Where does it say don't enter? Asbestos. Asbestos, right. So here we are, look. First floor, ground floor. Hmm, Muster Pointing Car Park at the front of the building. You talk about, they are dragging their heels for doing this place. Sorry? Do you want to do a quick bit here? I think if you come along here, you'll probably see, you'll probably see um, back to the main area out there. That's the south. Is this the north? I can see lights on over there, look. I think this is the north. And there's the clock tower, yeah. Yeah, they've got the lights on in the whole building there. They're trying to give that impression, but, but are they really, or are they not? They're trying to give the impression of having lights on over there, but... Mm. Right, I think we're fairly safe going around in terms of um, we we can't get into that building. You can't get in. You can't get into it. So we can look at it out the window, but we can't get into it. So this is interesting because look. Ah, ah. If we can get up to the scaffold, look, there's a window open over there. See it? From the bottom up. If we can get over there, see there's a, a window there. It's got the bottom open. Can you see it? Oh, yeah. There's a window open to the clock tower, so we can get, whoops. If we can get onto the scaffold, there's a window open over there. So we need to get down and out and around. And basically come into this compound here. So I think we could possibly even just exit the building, come out through there and go up onto the scaffold. Because we're not going to get in here from inside the building. They've built a, as you've seen, they've built a, like a thing downstairs, which is probably about here, doors mm -hmm. that are blocking off underneath. And you'll need a key and the moment you open the door you probably set the alarm off. So this is a wall now that downstairs would go sideways and into the clock tower. Smelly, isn't it? Yeah, don't forget, ghosts are supposedly one of the most um, forgotten about things with ghosts is smells. Hmm. Yeah, we could go across that roof and, and onto the scaffold. Or we could go out. I've got a feeling that um, probably, 
probably it's over there. That's where the um, security were. What's that? I'm going to put a light on out the window over there, okay? Yeah, there's no, there's no access way for us to get across and down. We literally have to go out to the building, I think, to get up into that clock tower. Notice how this gets low. This is a connect. This is a connecting ward. This connects from the main building to, to weird wards on the end. They change shape, and so it's like a de demarcation here. You know, like small, tall. This is thin. That's a weird, weird section, isn't it? Mm. this off up here. It's probably the floor has been taken out, I expect. You can, you can go through here, but I think they're worried that the ceiling is not safe. can go through but there's not an awful lot now if you go down there you do haven't got much more it doesn't go a hell of a lot further so do you want to go back keep walking down the end have a look at some of the other wards this is definitely very close to the way security are on the left hand side there
weird spelling, isn't it? Good for you. Come on, Matt. Thank you. No problem. Do you want to get some of that stairs? Because that's quite funky, isn't it? More angle. <laughs> More angle. For the dangle. Done all of these before. We didn't give a. F this is asbestos, but is it? Four GS Regiment L RLC, Royal Logistics Corps. That's where we want to be. We want to be out there in the clock tower. So we're just going to get out and we're going to climb up those scaffold. We are going to have success. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. <laughs> right, if we get onto the scaffold here, around this left hand side of the scaffold, yeah. you walk along where that light is and there's a window open on the right hand side. I saw it earlier on. So we just need to get down climb up. Yeah, we need to get out of the building, we need to get onto that scaffold along and in. Cool. So it's up to you if we yeah, do... Yeah, we'll do a bit more spirit boxing. Sp here, spirit boxing you, then go, yeah? Yeah, should we do it in a bit? I mean, that's the problem. Yeah, sure. That's saying you've got asbestos inside where we were. Do you want to do it? Do you want to do it in there or yeah, yeah or those end bits? They they go into like a little like a rounded off, yeah. like on the on the end of the wings. Where do you fancy? We were at the back earlier on, we were walking from these to this to this, you know. Yeah. Mm. Still not the only thing. It's weird, isn't it? Mm. Little serving hatch. Stairwell. Yeah, it's a bit mm. freaky, isn't it? Yeah. We should be one floor up. Does it go more than one floor? No, it's just one floor. Yeah, it's alright. Come back. Yeah, like that, that literally old smell. Old musty smell, yeah. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Mm. It's like you don't really tend to get them in like hospitals this day and age because obviously everything's like upgrade and stuff. Like, you know, that old school smells like you're a, you're a kid, you're in hospitals. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I just got weird like, ding, 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 like pins and needles in my lungs. In your lungs? Yeah, like, you know, it's just like for no apparent reason. Yes, that's the best I was <laughs> Yeah, but it wouldn't have that 
much of an effect that quick. I think it's something something odd. Something odd. Oh, I just probably need to lean back against the wall. Take my weight off. Actually, so I'm not your not causing any friction on the camera. Are you going to keep it there so we, I can film as well? Yeah, man. Hooky dog. Yeah, I should film my camera as well, bro. What's that? You have to take all my cameras once. Yeah, I'll film you, yeah. You've got to take it in turns. Well, I'll okay. Do yeah, you're going to start. I can't do shit this lockdown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so strong, that smell, isn't it? It's like it keeps going back. It's like really like Victorian mm. hospital smell. Mm. <laughs> Viewers are going to be like, what are you talking about? But, you know, you I think someone will understand what I'm talking about. Right. <laughs> I'm not actually crazy, I'm telling you, I'm not crazy! Mm. Uh, yeah. Let's see what happens. Right, okay, I'm going to turn this device on now. I want you to come forward and try to use it and speak with us. Whoever's here now, we just come forward and use all of our energy and use the device in my hand to come talk to us. Can you try to come forward now, please? We've got your soldiers here. This is like where we came in, isn't it? Remember seeing that light on the table? So yeah, we've got to take a left here. And is this it? Yeah, because we walked across a lot of cable, didn't we? Yeah, this is it. Good to be able to find find the same place we came in that quick actually. Toilets. Convalescent wing. Can I give that to you a second whilst I just do the climb? Cheers, man. Just my lens. Secret vault. Cleanest, cleanest poopy off my lens. Do you need anything ha handed out? Turn your bag handed out. Bit of luck to find that ripped off there. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Let's see what we can see then. You all right? I thought you saw some in <laughs> You all right? Oh dear. Uh -uh. 
So we're near the end now, near the end of the hospital. So it'll go round. Oh no, there's still a bit more. Or is that a distant building that's not to do with this? I think that's a different building, different wing. It isn't to do with this. So we turn, yeah, we turn left here. Ooh. Nasty. So yeah. So there's quite a lot of wings to this place, but uh, even though they're very tall buildings, there are only two floors because they've got this like Victorian really high ceiling thing, impossible to heat, cost a fortune to heat type deal going on. No, I think they're off to the left, although there are porter cabin buildings. No, 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 they're to the left. I think that's probably something else they're working on. So, see, that's the clock tower there. They're actually behind the clock tower. They're on the other side of it. Which is why I feel comfortable to use the, t the light as I am at the moment, so. So in theory, we should be able to come down to the end of these reflectives take a left, climb up the scaffolding, and job done. Now this is what I think they probably want the security on, is things like this. So there may be alarms around here now. This is what they're worried about. This is the, where the money, the money is. It's in this equipment here. So, fingers crossed. There's no alarms here because we don't want to go near their equipment. It's usually what they're looking at. Oh, good. The uh, the step ladders on the right hand side. Steps to go up. Not step ladders. Steps. A band called Steps. They're doing a gig on the right hand side. Ah. So you don't seem to want us to go in there, but we're going in anyway. So we just got to climb up the first set and we'll be alright then. Just climb up past that crap. Oh. So I'm going to take off my. Uh, my infrared because I don't want to. I'll just give that to you a sec. Cheers, man. Get this off because it's just swinging around, being a pin. Chuck it back in here. Go for a climb. Oh, he's doing it. Have you got him in shot? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Man. Can you hand it up to me in a sec? Yeah. Thanks. Just going to try and show off a bit, like, you know, showing that I'm, I'm like a 30 year old. <laughs> you still got it. I love, I love how, like, Matt just does it better than me every single time. <laughs> what? <laughs> Shouldn't do. With your military training, sir. I think we've got to go up one more floor and then go round the side. Most days I don't look well. Just get healthy now. Just go out on a regular basis, stand about, yeah. eat food, sleep, sit down, edit, repeat. Yep. Here she is. Oh, look how easy this is. Piece of... 
of cake. Piece of cake. They, why don't they want us? Why don't they want us going out on this level then? That's weird. Just climb through. I think it's this sort of height actually. I think, I've got a feeling this is it. If it's not, we'll we'll come back. There's a ladder down there as well. So just remember safety folks, don't rely on the fact that this is safe. Always always hold a handrail. Because this uh, these these planks here are pretty manky. So there's lights on. There's lights on inside there, look. Lights on. So be able to get through here. Fingers crossed this is the floor. Oh it might be one higher, it might be one higher. One higher I think. Yeah, it's one higher. Yeah we need to go back up. Sketch, sketchy ladder. Oh, kicking shit. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, just turn it No, just turn your hand. Turn your hand. That's it, and it follows you. You got it. It's nearly got it, look. Alright, folks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Stay at home, kids. Yeah, don't do drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, you'll end up like, the, like me and Carl <laughs> and Sam. And Jess. Jess is the worst actually, so yeah, you can't you can't trust them. They just they're always they're always doing it. Taking drugs all the time. Don't do it kids. It's a bit loud, isn't it? I think we've got to go up a bit more, haven't we? Is it next level? Yes, yeah, the next level. Yeah, let's cross over and get onto that ladder then. Now go to the left. Look up on there. Climb up on that one. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, right. So that that works too. That works. Hey, bloody hell, I missed him. He, he did like a back, a back flip then, somersault. It's pretty well secured, this um, scaffold. It's better than that stuff in Bristol, I think, the other day. Right. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Come on. Where is it? We were higher than this because we were looking across. I think we were looking across from over there, look, where that window is open. We were looking back here and it looked like one was open. So is it not open? It looked like it was. Can you hold on to that a sec? I think we need to go up onto this one. Can't be a bit of rooftop in. Mm -hmm. Watch this a little bit loose. Thank you very much. We just gotta find that magic window wherever it was. Looked like it was open. Maybe it was the um, maybe it's an illusion because of the, the way the boards are going. Bloody hell. 
Any cam cameras or anything in there? Looks alright, but the, the top. Oh, what's that thing there? What's that? What's that jammed in the window over there? No, there. But, no, that's not going to open. We'd never get down there anyway. It's too. It's too steep. Let's just have a look around the building and see if we can spot something else that's open. Yeah. If we keep going round, we're going to find something eventually. Is that open? Yeah, it might be. Okay. That's seized, isn't it? Probably. Oh, it is going just a little bit. Might need two people. Do you want to hold on to that and I'll give Sam a, a hand? It's probably worth one next door to this open group, just waste our time doing it. Open, but it's nailed. It's just washing. Bullshit. Bullshit, man. Oh, I need to shimble in. What the fuck was that? Owl There's another one. But is it open from the top or is it open from the bottom? Hold that a sec. Lacerates my neck. Oh, yeah, baby. Just tell me that one. Right? Yeah. Seems alright. Glass lacerates my neck. Easy peasy. Well, whilst when you come down and you put your hand on the, the lip, I was going to say oh, a car can hand some stuff down to us, but yeah, it's all right. I'll, we'll do it. I wouldn't trust. I wouldn't trust that. That won't. That won't take your weight. Just get your other leg over. 
That's it, you got it. That's the one. You notice this floor is quite bouncy as well. Chuck, just chuck your stuff down. Here we go. Chuck your stuff down. prepared for alarms. If we're lucky, there aren't any this high up because they'll all be downstairs. But keep an eye out for where we walk up to the clock tower. Right, so they've got radio sight alarms, so it's all radio linked. So they probably have radio alarm movement sensors. I know we're going to get an alarm go off at some point. It's going to happen. Just keep an eye out for where, where the, 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 the walkway is to go up. No, so there's not this one. I think it could be here where they put this. <laughs> You're never going to believe this, folks, right? Remember we came to the Cambridge place before, Cambridge Hospital? We've got into the clock tower because they've got scaffolding. You know what that means? It means thank you. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Yeah, this is definitely it. Whoa. This is it. Oh, yes. It's all metal as well, it's all metal surround. Look at this, all metal. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah, we're just in a little metal metal cubicle of it is. Feels like we're in like Tower of London or something. Jesus fucking so dusty a bit. Dear dear. Back in the game. Right, okay. Okay, so what we got up this one then? And it goes up quite a way. Oh, wish you were here, Dan Dixon. Oh, look at these as well. This is like doors to sort of like flip down. Trap door, yeah. Flips down into place. Oh, it's proper, proper. Bit of exploring fun, yeah. This is what we love to see. This is it. This is the stuff we love to see. Look at all these wrought iron work out the window. Look at that. No pigeons allowed. That is what you see from outside. But very few people get to see the inside. Carl's boldly going where no explorers have gone before. Well, with a video camera anyway. Definitely gone up here with, uh, with photos, but... Whoa, let's get this then. Is this it? Is this it? No, it still goes up. It still goes up. Oh my God, yes. This is the biz, isn't it? I'm gonna take my, um, I'm gonna take my bag off, because I wanna... It's gonna get tight up there. You know that clock? It's, it's tiny. The clock itself, when you get up there, it's tiny. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my t-shirt on because I want to enjoy this. I don't want any weight in my pocket. Hat off. Right. Oh. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. Let's do this thing. Oh yeah. I mean, look at that up there. And it's probably gonna go up again because it comes into something that's a quarter of the size of this room. The clock is very small. And look, you got the old windows as well. Look at all the windows. Wow. Oh, did you say the clock is very small? Huh, yours maybe. <laughs> but I couldn't possibly comment 
about mine because I'm under contractual obligation with a Durex company, so sorry. just getting better. This is getting better. Hang on. Look at that. Oh. Right, I'm just going to get onto the floor up here. Oh, this is the business. This is the business. This is the best view in Farnborough. And we're in it right now. We've got the best view in Farnborough. Hands down. This is it, folks. Hands down, you do not get a better view than this. We are looming over the city. Looming over it. Come on then. Let's get you up here then. Let's get him up here. They're all freaking out now, like, how would you do this? Not like that, how do you do this? It's easy. Easy. Oh, it's easy once you've got your, well, you've not got your coat on, I can tell you. If you give us your uh, camera, I'll film you if you want. And you can do the last few steps then, hang on. I have got it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I got it, yeah. This is a super long way down. Yeah, it's wibbly wobbly, that, isn't it? Yeah, that's why. Jacob's running. No, this is high. I'm not looking forward to getting down. <laughs> Look at the windows, man. Look where we are. We are the highest point in, in Farnborough. Uh, not Farnborough, Aldershot. Alder, Aldershot or Aldermaston? Aldershot. It's Aldershot, isn't it? Yeah, Aldershot. Yeah. We are... Oh look, Urbex and Toll. Some people got their uh, Urbex stickers up here, like Urbex and Toll. That's where we've seen the photos. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right, well, mine's bigger than yours, uh, Bex, I'm told. I'm sorry to, sorry to sort of like give you the, the low down on it, <laughs> but mine's bigger than yours. So, I'll check them out though, because look, he says you, it's YouTube, uh, Bex, I'm told, but we've only seen photos. What's going on, mate? What is going on? And they've got some sort of aerial here, but it's not connected up to anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. So now we are going to go up here, which is where the clock tower is, and it's tiny. This thing, I can see the face of the clocks. Clock face. So let's make sure we don't fall down. But can you see that up there? Yeah. Right. So let me just uh, make sure I can do this. There we go. Right, let's get this facing right up so I can do it. Okay. okay. Yeah, and let's do the professional bit now, like the BBC. Right, hang on. It's like pointed down, get the light facing down, turn it round. It's like, here I am, going to check out a bird's nest in the Shetland Islands. I've got 60 people filming me. Yes, it's really easy. Yeah. Oh. Whoa, here we go, folks. This is it. This is what we came here for. Look at this. Whoa, first look. I haven't even got up there yet, but that's the first look we've got of it.
this is nuts. This is absolutely nuts. Wow. And I don't think this clock works somehow. What's that? Yeah, yeah, we can all get up here. So they're all down there and just about to come up and I am just going to show you the mechanism here. Look, we've got the mechanism. It's just iris is down so it's a bit more in focus. Can you see the mechanism? So you can wind it. Look at that, winding the clock, look. Winding the clock and changing the time. So. There's only one time that I can put on a clock, which would uh, be applicable. So it's going to be, it's going to be, if you look up there, it's going to be six minutes past six. Giggle, giggle, giggle. Six minutes past six. <laughs> All right. Well, so there's a dead pigeon in the corner. Hold yeah, yeah, okay. Right, hang on, don't let go. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, yeah. 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 So let me just turn that down. Make sure I don't bang the head. It's like pigeon poop of all the burner. Yeah, it is a bit. It's like coming in pigeon shit. Yeah, he is. It is, yeah. You can only just get your head and part of the clock in. Luckily, with your wide, with your wide, I can get the clocks and everything in. Here's Sam coming. Wow, yeah. Look at that. I've changed the time, look. It's now. Really? It's now six minutes past six. And six seconds. <laughs> six, six, six. So there's the, the mechanism which duplicates, so that this will this makes sure that all the bits are all in the same time. But this is the actual winding mechanism which has been disconnected, so that's the motor. So that's the motor that drives it. And it's probably a servo, so it means every minute it goes it goes jump and turns a certain amount. Because I doubt it would move continuously. It's probably just a servo every minute it goes jump. Yeah. So now everyone outdoors is seeing this lit up. Because we've got this is a paint glass, you know. If they if they wanted to, see, so there could be lights. So there were lights. Look, there were lights up in the ceiling. If you look up there, I was going to say they could light this up, and then it would be illuminated for everybody in this in the town to see it. So there are lights up there. Yeah, but for some reason they don't bother to keep it lit. Maybe they will once it's finished they'll put in some more lighting and uh, hopefully it will shine against one uh, shine one more time over older shot so there we go and this is definitely transparent glass for the purpose look at that old um, grout yeah that old grouting there that's really old a bit of metal work going on there. God. So, wow, we've we've achieved quite an amazing thing here, I think, in getting up to this place. It's a bit so high right now. Yeah. Let's have a look right to the top then, and you know, illuminating it. And it is pretty small here. The walk space distance from side to side is very small. No pigeons up here now at the moment. I think it's been sealed. I don't think there's any birds in here, but I think in the past it probably has had has had some pigeons in here. There's one behind you. Oh. Yeah, dead. I know. <laughs> yeah, he didn't didn't fare very well. Poor baby. Yeah. Poor baby. They've got fairly big skulls on them, considering they've got quite small brains. Hmm. Oops, by my head. But yeah, so this would this would be the mechanism that sort of makes it all happen. But it won't move. That won't move. 
per se, but you can force it, force this, you can force the um, the the minute the minute hand will change and it changes <laughs> oh, sorry sorry it, it change, changes all the rest so there must be there's a slip mechanism here there's a slip mechanism so this it's slipping at that point but it won't it won't go from down there this is off that won't go but there's a slip so it allows you to set the time so let's see if I can get it set to six past six then right that's about let's get this absolutely right so we're stand in the center look out with one eye Six minutes past six. There it is. Six minutes past six. Whoa. A little bit of background on the Cambridge Military Hospital. It was um, built in 1879 for about £45,000. It was designed to house, in total, about 246 injured persons. It was based on a design from the Royal Herbert Hospital in Woolwich. Many additions and alterations were made which compromised the elegant initial design. And in the First World War, the Cambridge Hospital was the first base hospital to receive casualties directly from the Western Front. And the Cambridge Hospital was also the very first place where plastic surgery was performed in the British Empire. Nearby, at the top of Gun Hill, is the RAMC Memorial, which commemorates the 314 men of the Royal Army Medical Corps who lost their lives in the Boer War of 1899-1902. to So, wow, we've done it, man. Yeah, there you go. Absolutely. There's not many people who've been up here. So, thanks to, uh, what are they called? Beep. <laughs> Exploring. <laughs> thanks, guys, and and thanks because I'm, I'm a softy. Yeah, I did message him, but he, he didn't reply. So. Oh well, screw him then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stuck. Life and death happens very quickly in this game. You see, I just <laughs> just like one minute is he's our friend, next minute screw him. Yeah. Right. It's gonna be fun trying to get back down this shit. Hmm. You know what you want to do with that camera if you want to climb things is you want to get a, a neck thing and you want to hang it yeah. so you can basically hang it so it hangs down yeah. and when you hang it down you can just climb down then with it looking straight down. Yeah. But you'll have to find the, it's probably there where you're holding it there is, is the best grip point. Yeah, and if you close the window with it, not, not like that because I'll shut it off, yeah? No, it'll keep it on. It's no, if you do it like that, it yeah. stays on, yeah? It'll stay on my email. Oh, it will, will it? Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. It's got the, uh, the pull-up viewfinder. Ah, right, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, if you do that, you could probably film yourself on the way down quite easily then. Fucking Two hands. Drop, man. <laughs> oh, shit, man. It's not the time to be popping around. I'll just put a load of music over this bit. <laughs> There is actually a switch there. I wonder if that would turn the lights on. There's, there's lights and switches over here as well. Oh, yeah. Do you want to... Cheers. Do you have a torch on me? Just need some photos. Oh, right. Uh, it's gone down. My headlight. Yeah, that's, that's about it, really. I want to bring that down with it. Cheers, yeah. That was a bit of something, wasn't it? Interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
No electric. The secret vault when illuminated. See you. Yeah. See your beam of that. We need to bring all this shit in there. Just need dust still. It's all right, isn't it? That seems to just bring through my nose mostly. <laughs> Clips all the shit. Yeah. It's not party. I put my bag down on the next level, wouldn't it? I think. Right, I'll, I'll go down to save time then, so I'm going to start on my descent, so... Oops, but I don't want to blind myself, so I'm going to turn the light face down, so that'd be sensible, wouldn't it? That would be sensible, surely. Oh, hang on. This one, hang on, come on, get around. I want to see that I'm actually pointing, pointing in the right place. This is the wobbly one. So isn't it? It was pretty good that. Yeah. It's the ultimate uh, ultimate thing though, isn't it? Like getting to a top of a clock tower or yeah. top of a church or something like that. It's pretty pretty unique. Mm. 
So we've definitely seen something that most people that live in this, this city will have never seen in their lives and never will see in their lives with their own eyes. So nice to have been able to bring them something that these people who are building this place don't want them to see. Six hundred police officers waiting for us now. Yeah. Down here. Steps in my mistake. I wonder if it's just because all this power's turned off. It is, it's all turned off. Main main switch for the tower. Floodlight contactor. Oh well, we'll never know. I want people fucking saying, oh, you know, you, you can get in trouble with the police because they'll say you've nicked electric light. What? Really? Yeah, it's called abstraction of electric. Abstraction of electric. Yeah, it's a real charge. If you go playing with the electric, then you've stolen electric. That's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Fucking idiots, aren't they? Abstraction. Yeah. Do you want to go down or? No, no. alarms, man. It's alarm central. Uh, the alarm will go straight off. I mean, are any of the others easier to open? We're pushing them up. Check them. I mean, maybe we're just like making life hard for us. Watch that. Right. You on that side? What's this then? Is there a thing there? No, it's not. What about that? That one looks like it was half open. Oh, it's from the top again. Try it. Oh, there you go. And they put that there to stop you fucking trying it. Look. So, that was easy. Right, can anybody hold this to me whilst I climb out a bit? I'm going to put my gloves on because I don't want to spike my hands on shit. So I'm going to be a good boy. Cheers, cheers, media. <laughs> Come on. Hey, look, I can put this stairs through if you want, look. Well, there's stairs through there for you, like, so you can just climb up the stairs. Bloody big stairs there, look. Come on. And your bag. Down a bit, back, drag down a bit, yeah, oh, you've got it. There we go, folks. That's how you do it. That is how you do it. Scooby do it. Yeah. And on that bombshell, I think I'm going to say good night because I think the battery's about to die. So, secret vault. 
climb over there then and that's it, isn't it? Oh, can you hold on one more time? Yep. We've got to step across this one, I think. Step across, there's a gap. It's a big old gap. You don't want to go down. Good stuff. Good stuff. There you go. Oh, he's he's levelled me up. Level you up, man. Level my bitch up. Oh, look, I've cocked it then. It's yeah, that's me. Sorry. Right, look, I'm going to go down so I can get you in shot. It's the final bits of us going out. Look, here we go. Carl's having it. Oh, look at that. He's just not messing about there. <laughs> Flipped that. It's like as if he was skipping with a skipping rope. <laughs> yeah, they're all coming out now. That's it. On the home run. On the home run. Almost to the edge. Yep. Well, we can't climb through the thing. We can go out onto this first ledge, innit? We could just be mega cheeky, go to the main door and just push the, the push the emergency door open and walk out the building site now if you want. If there is such a thing or a way to do it. Yeah, this is the one. Can I give that to you a sec? Yeah. Well. Cheers. I just missed that escapade. Easy. Easy peasy. Get it, yep. Yeah. Oh, he's down. Oh, they didn't even waste. Look at them. Look at that shit. Posh bastards. <laughs> <laughs> Showing off now, aren't they? Oh, shit. What's going on here? Oh. Went all the way up then. It started vibrating. That was weird. Right, well, we could literally, if we wanted to be cheeky, just walk out the main entrance. I'll just say sod it. Did you check that building out? Yeah. That's new, I think. Oh, is, oh, it? is it new is or? It nah, I d they're all so small, it's not worth bothering, I don't think. I don't, I don't think they're worth bothering. So I don't know whether or not, I don't know whether or not um, we're going to attract the attention of the security people, but we can just walk straight out now, I think. Hello. Hmm. Straight out. Like we just don't care. Yeah. I think we might be able to just go straight out the front front entrance and just push the bar open if we're lucky. Oh yeah, there's another one, another bit of water. Look, they're just wasting water. Just wasting water is turned on. Idiots. Why would they want to do that? It's like, you know, you'd think the security walking around you would turn that off. So that's the porter cabin where the security are living. Seems to come from the security place, doesn't it? I don't know. That's where they come, that's where they come from when the alarms go off. Crazy. Don't seem to be anybody here. Um, don't know. 
No, it doesn't seem like it, does it? How do you get out there? Same way as we came in, or? Probably jump over this quite easy. Oh, there's the main gate down there. So I think if you get through this one, then you've got to get through the next one. So you might as well just jump over by there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Just get up there, round and drop. Hmm. I always go over to the left and go over that way because it's sharp on the top. I'll give that to you a second. Show us a film in a second. Yeah, no, go get over the left and drop and just dribble yourself down. I just sit on top of it. Oh, That's it, yeah. Sit down on it. Okay. That's the one. I'll climb up and then I'll grab it, yeah? Jesus, is that easy? Um. <laughs> <laughs> that was easy, man. I have to remember that trick. It's a good yeah. trick, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, it's probably better to do it like that because you haven't done any damage, then, have you? Mm. You know, put it back exactly as you found it. Great. So make sure I've got everything. Got your keys, got your mobiles. If we can't get out of here, we'll be climbing over that scaffold, other scaffolding now, I think. So like gate one, Western Homes. Western Homes, coming to you 10 years time because we're really slow. Western Homes, coming soon. Coming soon? You're taking the bloody proverbial. It's not bloody coming soon at all. It's coming really bloody slowly. Coming soon because we don't get to. Yeah. I thought you'd be able to push a bloody thing and get over this, but. It's quite easy to climb. Get underneath the Harris again like you just did? Yeah. <sighs> Jammed in, is it? Right, go on, go on under then, climb under, cheers man, right I'll, I'll hand you this then, Jess, I got this. you got it yeah, there you go, Thank you. Good. 
trick that. Do you remember that? Works a fucking works a, works a bloody treat. treat. Yeah. So you learnt something today on the secret vault with Carl X S A S. <laughs> yeah, sexy, sexy. Uh, I was wondering what the A stands for. Service. Yeah, sir. Sexy. Yes, sir. <laughs> I never said it. I <laughs> feel very, very vulnerable. I was sitting next to him, by the way, folks, on the way home. So, uh, yeah. Say, so, thank you very much for tuning in, and we'll catch you soon. And, uh, yeah, maybe you might want to click like. I don't normally say that, but why break? Why not? Why not try it for a, for a, and see what happens?